Well, time now to look at our health. Tonight, we focus on two diseases very much in the spotlight these days. First, cases of West Nile virus are at the highest level ever here in the U.S., and more than 10,000 campers are being warned about hantavirus exposure up in Yosemite. Joining us now to talk about the symptoms of both of these incidents and treatment is Dr. Mitchell Goldman from UCSD. Thank you for being here. Good to be here. Well, let's start with West Nile. There's some nearly 1,600 people infected, one in San Diego, dozens of deaths so far. Why is it so elusive? What are these symptoms that we should be looking for and not brushing aside? Well, you know, the symptoms with almost any virus are very similar, whether it's West Nile or even the hantavirus. You know, you feel like you have the flu. You get the shakes, you get um, basically fevers, sweats, little nausea, stomach upset. But what makes it dangerous is when you start getting signs of confusion, memory problems. When you start, it's in your head that's when these are really dangerous. So that's the red flag that you need immediate attention if, if sort of those, I guess, for lack of a better term for a layman, is sort of feelings of dementia. Right, but flu-like illnesses can happen with one of dozens of different kinds of flus. But once you start getting your brain screwed up, that's when you have to really see your physician. Okay, so um, if you suspect you have it, what's your next step? Well, the next step is to see your physician to make sure. But the problem is there's no magic pill that we can take. There's no vaccine that we can take. So, of course, we want to try to prevent it. The best way of preventing it, as we were talking off camera, is to make sure there's no stagnant water or ponds around your home because that's where mosquitoes breathe. Uh, breed. These virus, the West Nile virus, basically comes from the bite of a mosquito. Mm -hmm. Now, all mosquitoes mosquitoes don't have West Nile virus, and even if a mosquito did have West Nile virus, only one in 1,000 people actually will get sick. So it's very rare, but it's not rare enough to prevent over 1,100 people in the United States from coming down with this. Well, how does West Nile differ from hantavirus? I know the one is mosquito-borne and rodent um, excrement, for lack of a, yes. a more you know, no, touchy-feely term. So, you know, every virus likes to live in certain people like some virus or whatever is living in that deer. So there's a virus called hantavirus and it actually lives in the mice. And the problem is it doesn't kill the mice. It lives there very happily. Mm -hmm. But when the mice poop, the virus is in their excrement. And then if there's dust and it gets kicked up, especially in those camps in Yosemite, you actually will breathe in that dust and that will cause a problem. Now the symptoms our viewers are seeing up on the screen seem pretty similar to the West Nile virus symptoms. So how do you tell the difference? Because you've got chills, fever, Fever, muscle aches, you know, dry cough. And you can see that with almost any viral infection. That's the whole point. You really can't tell just by looking at someone. It's when the central nervous system starts to become affected. In both cases? In both cases. Okay. And when you start to be confused, if you have really severe headaches, those are the warning signs to go see your physician. Now, when you go to see the physician, it's not like we give you a magic shot and you're better again. It's very tricky. We have to do supportive care until your body actually takes care of the problem. There are okay. new treatments that we're trying with interferon to try to stimulate your body's immune system, but that's the way to go. And, and then finally, people with severe medical illnesses where they're immunosuppressed, those are the people most likely to come down with these symptoms. Yeah, their body can't fight it off on exactly. its own. Wow. Well, I'm glad we had this discussion because, you know, I, I was looking at some freestanding water just the other day and all I see is West Nile virus. And you wonder, you know, Lauren, if, if it's just surrounding us because you hear so much of it in the headlines. Yeah, and there's I know we've been uh, concerned when we see dead birds uh, nearby, the same sort of thing.